Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful. What'd you say, bitch? My fear is always that Randy's going to put the wrong video up that had been recording 10 minutes before we started. Yeah, when we're talking shit on everyone. Everyone. And that's what we do. We're just big... Fuck them. Big shit talkers. All the time. Oh, That was a fucking good one. We didn't even have to say words. That was fire. Somebody last night said, well, why can't you record your podcast remotely? Because it's fucking boring. It's boring and it's improv. We got to be sitting here. I can't just be looking around. You know, does every episode of Slop City have improv in it? Probably. I mean, we're improving because we don't know what we're going to talk about. Mm -mm. We don't plan ahead and say, today we're going to talk about Ray Varner, baseball, Ozzy Smith, and et cetera. No. You guys have seen how we do this. It starts out and sometimes, I mean, sometimes... I bet there's people who've been watching and been like, man, they really couldn't get that bit going. <laughs> I'm going to fast forward. And you know what I have to say to you who have thought that? <laughs> you just wait. Could you get that bit going? <laughs> probably not. If, it, probably if, if we didn't get it going, it wasn't meant to go. No. And then we'll cut it off. We'll cut it off. Yeah. Well, like the baseball <laughs> announcer voices. <laughs> you know, we cut that off. It, we did it for 30 seconds. We were like, yeah, we're really not feeling this. And then we cut it off. And th- but, I mean, that was pretty much it. But the first time we did it, we did it for a good three hours. Yeah, that's and what I... And it was a long that, time. That was the bit, is that we did oh, not Oh, you were just off. doing a bit. Yeah, I was doing a bit. Wow, I was like, I don't remember actually stopping. How long has it been since you've taken an improv course? Because, uh... Well, it's been a while, and I <laughs> talked about improv last night. So, does that count? Yeah, talk, talking about it counts. <laughs> With an improv teacher. Well, no, we do improv on the podcast, so that does count as stretching our improv muscles. But, I mean, you put, you give me some object work to do right now, I might be a little lacking. Well, I'll, I'll hit you with, I'll give you some objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me Telephone. Some Gun. Good job. Mop. Hit me, hit me, hit me with something. Uh, you know, give me, give me anything. I'll take a second. Baseball mitt. (laughs) (laughs) Man, farts are funny. (laughs) Baseball mitt. Um, um, somebody that's really tired and has uh, a mask on their face. Okay. (laughs) Like a. Uh, like a Michael Myers mask. No, not well. <laughs> it's improv. Fig- you figure it out. Yeah, sure. S- somebody's that. See that? I'm <laughs> yeah. taking the mask off all the way. Somebody that's on a boat knows arcs. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody posted that clip the other day, and I was rolling. oh my god! I know the, all the people in there. That was a really crazy <laughs> crash. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I can't believe people didn't die. It's the Ozarks. People don't die there. No, they don't. Uh, ever. Um, okay. Uh, let me hit you with a couple. Okay. Um, and this is just object work. We're just, just warming up. Let me just say I was never good at object work. Okay. Tried hard. Okay, turning on a faucet. Uh, closing an oven. This is how I close an oven. <laughs> Literally at home. If I, you see me closing an oven, I'm always, it'll be me like with my foot. I'm like. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> oh, he's going to have to do the overhand, overhead cam oh, for sorry. that one. Sorry, Randy. Um, okay. Um, typing on a computer. You love that one. Texting. Me texting or like you, a millennial? You texting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, well, if it was actually you texting, you would have first grabbed your glasses and put them on. <laughs> My glasses. You would have grabbed All your right. glasses. Giving head. <laughs> the fact that her mouth is like this. <laughs> I don't know one person who's ever given head like this. Here's me giving head. I'm just gobbling it down. I'm just like. 
<laughs> Here's me. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's me giving head. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I used an actual object. Here's me giving head. Here it is. <laughs> the face. <laughs> if, I, if I had a ding dong and I looked out and saw you going... <laughs> I'd be turned on. That's for sure. That's my texting face. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> what the ponytail? The ponytail. My buns just like. <laughs> God, we love money. God, I love money. Um, all right, so give us the lowdown on the high school reunion. Top to bottom, all of it. I want the deets. I want it all. Well, I'll just say that My it was at the boathouse. My laughing. <laughs> the boathouse. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Uh, Can I check out their menu real quick? Walked in. Was it catered? Sorry. I, it was l- like a buffet style. Buffet style hors d'oeuvres. Oh, okay. Not a lot of eating going on. Oh, there wasn't. No. A lot of fucking? I didn't see any of that either. No. A lot okay. of drinking. Okay. Did you drink? No, because I am a responsible driver. Well, I didn't know if you had like one bevy or something. No, one bevy puts me over the. You do. You get a little slizzard. Um, walked in, immediately began to uh, mingle amongst everyone. Sure. Hugging people. Mm-hmm. And the whole time I'm hugging people, I'm thinking, do they? Can they smell cigarette smoke? They can. They I, can. I would like to let you know that. Well, one guy hugged me, and he goes, "Hey, do you smoke?" And I go. Why? Can you smell it? And he goes, no, let's go smoke a cigarette. And I was like, yes! Oh. So then we started what I I, I dubbed the burnout corner. Okay. Because, you know, all the burnouts were smoking mm-hmm. back in high school. Burnouts. I wasn't a burnout. No. But you are now. I am now. Um. So highlights of the night. I couldn't really vlog because there was a lot of music. And the play was, play, playlist was music from high school. Appropriately. Sure. Very famous, hip, cool songs. Yes. Lots of, uh, it takes two to make things go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. Did they, did they put. (laughs) (laughs) That's the lyrics of that song, isn't it? It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. It takes two to make an attitude. (laughs) It was out of sight. Oh, it's not attitude? I don't know, but the word out of sight, man, that was really out of sight. Oh, God, oh, that was out of sight. <laughs> I mean, imagine someone saying that to you. Uh, I. Wow, instead of saying, like, that was surprising, be like, oh, that was out of sight. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Um, Chatted with lots of people, even people I didn't know or chat with in high school. I'd go up and say, hi, how, how have you been? <laughs> And then they they would do this number where they would look at me, look down at my name tag, and look back up. Oh, hi, how you been? So does everyone know you <clears throat> as uh, Libby? Yes. Okay, that's good. But they know me as Libby, my previous last name. I and gotcha. Now they know me as Libby Higgins. Yep. So, uh, and then <clears throat> uh, somebody came up to me and said, we all watched a bunch of your videos today, which made me happy. But then I thought, where was everybody today? And why wasn't I invited? So <clears throat> did, that's, did they say they were really funny? We mm-hmm. liked them. Okay, good. So many adults told me that they were proud of me last mm-hmm. night. Because you're living your dream, brother. Which is so nice. Mm-hmm. Other takeaway, all the guys are hot as fuck. And I was just being myself. I'm like, hey, what's going on, brother? You're looking good. Yep. I hey, you're looking good today. Get over here. I wasn't trying to be fake or or be anything dumb. I just was myself. Wore my New Balance tennis shoes. Yep. Yeah. You said you wore flats for about seven minutes? About, about seven. <clears throat> and did you have to go back to the car to change? Or no, did I you have a in. bowling ball bag Ca- with carried you? Carried them in without a bag. Not even a shopping bag. <laughs> 
just carried him in because I knew that it was not going to be long. You carried him in holding two <laughs> in one hand, one finger on this one, one finger on that. I had him underneath my arm like this. They're like, oh, what's that? Are you giving those away to the homeless? You're like, no, they're for me. Those are my good into shoes. Shortly. Those are my good shoes. Oh, man. When you put uh, them on, did you go like, ah? I put them on and went, ah, and then I kept saying, ha, I just put my new balance on. Like I was a little self-conscious, so I had to keep bringing it Yeah, up. keep doing and, the But bit. nobody was looking at my shoes. No, they were looking at your tits. Looking at my tits, they probably were looking my ass. at your tits and ass. Probably. Kind of wondering like, wow, I wonder what it would be like to plow that puppy into the <laughs> fucking forest park Mattress. Lake. <laughs> wonder what it'd be like to take a chunk out of that. <laughs> Everyone was very nice. <laughs> Lots of people. I mean, it's it's very weird because I would be talking to someone and they'd say, how's your career? It looks like it's really going. How's your little podcast? And then someone else who didn't know me would say, oh, wait, well, you're a comedian. And then the other person, this happened several times. Yeah. Yo, you don't understand. She's like really big. She, I Yes. And then I'm like. And then you're looking down and you're like, well, kind of, I'm but like, also no, I'm but like, yes. Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, t- tell us a joke. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell us a joke. Somebody get her set up on the stage so she can tell us a joke. Oh, there's mm. nothing I hate more than that. PSA to everyone listening to this podcast. If you have a friend that's a comedian, don't ask him to tell a joke out in public. And here's the thing. If someone is telling jokes out in public, they're a new comic. (laughs) I used to tell everybody that I was a comedian when I first started. Now I do everything in my power to not. (laughs) I try so hard. It's not that I won't ever tell, you know, but it's like if someone will be like, oh, what do you do? Like if I'm out of town or whatever, you know, we were, uh, I forgot to tell you this story. And Uh I just thought about this. It's going to be good. So we, uh, Rafe and I just got back from Utah and, uh, we did Zion National Park for, we started in Vegas, did, uh, two days there. And then we w- drove to Utah, went to Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. It was fucking awesome. Super cool. So, um, I was reading online. I really wanted to get up for a sunrise. I was reading online that there's this one spot behind the like museum at Zion National Park that has the best sunrise, and that's where you need to go see the sunrise. So me, Rafe, our buddy Steve, and his wife, Lucia, show up at about, I think sunset was like, or sunrise was like 7.34 a.m. We got there about like 7.15, and there was this gaggle of people there, like a group of six people, primarily all old, one of them on a scooter, and one young gal. And they were all chatting, having a good time, whatever. And, you know, National Park people are very cool. The culture is all around cool. Unless you're like Brian Landry or whatever, the guy that killed his girlfriend. Then not, that is not a cool guy. But overall, everyone's really positive and chatty. You know, hey, how you doing? You know, you always say that to everyone. It's nice. Feel like you're in a little small town with a bunch of people that like doing what you like doing. Right. Similar interests. So we get to this spot behind the museum at Zion uh, to see the sunrise. And uh, it was underwhelming. Really? I mean, literally just we're kind of looking. The sky's a little blue and we're like, what the fuck is going? You know, we're there kind of just looking, trying to see like, okay, uh, what time was sunrise? (laughs) All right. Uh, And then (laughs) the old guy in a scooter rolls up next to us he goes boy you guys missed it it was oh it was beautiful that the way everything was just lit up the sun was coming it was gorgeous you know and we just start Rafe and I just start laughing so hard and just going to Bitville we're like hey thanks man right on and we were all laughing our asses off with these people and Rafe goes (laughs) this is what Rafe says he goes yeah I'm actually headed to prison for 25 years tomorrow (laughs) This How did was, you uh, miss it? This is going to be my last sunrise, so uh, thanks for letting me know that I missed it. How did you guys miss it? Because it's So you have to get there earlier than the actual sunrise, but there was a silver lining. It didn't end up, the sun was coming up behind, 
and it shines on the canyon um, <clears throat> on this little like rock formation. And so there's all the shadows and there's still light on it. It was really cool. Um, I, I'll have to send a picture to Randy to post in this po- so section. He dro- Randy, guy- will you make a note of this part right here? So I'll nope. put, put the picture in. But he drove his scooter over just till you guys missed it. Well, and we were all sitting kind of next to each other. There were a few benches and all that, but they were all like chatting it up, having a great time, you know. And then, yeah, he he drove his little scooter over. He goes, man, you guys missed it and could not stop. And we were laughing so fucking hard, just fucking around with all these people. I had my Comedy Works sweater on because it was early in the morning and it was chilly. And uh, Rafe and I are just fucking bitten it out with these people. And we're all dying laughing about like Rafe going to prison and it was his last <laughs> sunrise and all this shit. So they were like, you guys are funny. Like, oh, my God, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> And the guy on the scooter looks at me and goes, he's good. Is he always this quick? This quick-witted? Boy, you must have, have a lot on your hands, you know? And I can't re- I said something fucking got him good. And he goes, you're funny. Whoa! You, you could not. And it's like fucking 7.15 a.m., whatever. And you guys are busting out bits. We're all dying laughing with these people, like laughing our fucking asses off. And they were all super fucking cool. We ended up talking to them for like 45 minutes, chatting, And one of the ladies in the group, so it was basically like uh, two moms, two grandparents, and then two daughters. So it was like they were all getting together doing a vacation with the guy on the scooter. And it was, they were talking about him like he was dying. But in front, they were like, yeah, so we have to do a lot of the accessible trails. We wanted to give him a last, but the guy is zooming. He's like, boom, 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 (laughs) zooming around on his little scooter, like chatting it up, just telling fucking jokes and laughing at That would be me. Yeah. And he was having a good time. We were like, I wonder what's wrong with him. But I'm like, I didn't fucking see anything. He still had time to fucking roast us. (laughs) Uh, Let us know we missed the greatest sunrise in the world. And he goes, you should have seen it. Let me get my phone. And start showing us pictures. We were like, cool. We were like, keep your phone, man. We don't need to see all this. But so the lady. We don't need to see your flip phone pictures, sir. One of the ladies uh, sees my Comedy Works sweater and goes, Comedy Works. Denver. Are you from Denver? Are you affiliated with that place or anything? And I kind of made eye contact with Rafe. And we'll do this thing where we'll like decide if we're going to tell people or not. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's a cool place, you know, whatever. And she goes, oh, okay, so you're not, you don't do anything with that or whatever. And I was like, uh. (laughs) (laughs) Boy, this is a, look at that. And literally right then, the valley lit up. I go, look at that. I go, well, at least we got to see that. That is something else, you know, and we're so excited. And everyone's talking about the shadows and trying to get their pictures. And then I uh, said to Rafe, I I was like, hey, I'm going to go grab my jean wig and jean glasses because I want to get some pictures here. And those were the pictures (laughs) that I took in the National Park with the water jugs. And so I come out and uh, wearing that or whatever. And they were all like, oh, my God. They were dying laughing. And then they were like. The lady's like, I knew you were a comedian. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. And then she goes, you know what? Our Her daughter or her granddaughter's name, I think, was Becca. She was like, Becca's a professional chef and all that. And I was like, oh, my God, that's awesome. And Rafe said something like, yeah, well, we'll let you know if we're in your town, like if we ever make it or whatever. And the grandma thought we were talking about her daughter or her granddaughter. So she goes, what are you talking about? She has made it. We go, no, 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 we're talking about ourselves. (laughs) And then the girl Becca's like, yeah, I understand. It's a long grind. She goes, I had two restaurants before COVID and now I just cook for really fucking rich people. Oh, wow. I was like, right on. But it just, I love National Park people and meeting those people was such a fucking joy. Would you say it was out of sight? It was out of sight. I mean, I was I was not expecting it. To be honest, I was like, oh, look at all these biddies just walking around, you know, with their little ear things. They're all eating fucking chia overnight oats out of a fucking Tupperware. <laughs> I'm like, you know how fucking prepared you got to be to make overnight oats when you're fucking out hiking and doing shit? I guess pretty prepared. Pretty prepared. That means you bought chia seeds, coconut milk, or a yogurt of some sort. I mean, those are some prepared fuckers. But... Dude, when Rafe said to those people that he was going to prison for 25 years, I almost fucking Was there a pause and then they laughed? Because they weren't sure? They lost their fucking minds. (laughs) (laughs) And anytime they'd bring up like, oh, God, it was beautiful. Rafe's like, cool, thanks for reminding me again. (laughs) 
guess I'll just be thinking about that sunrise in prison forever. <laughs> and I go, yeah, he's going to Leavenworth tomorrow. <laughs> and they were like, whoa, that's like, that's like real super prison. max. I'm like, oh, yeah. He's on his phone over there. <laughs> he's putting a picture of us up on Instagram. It let him look like y'all had a good trip. Let the elderly man do it. <laughs> just let him do it. Let him put it on his Facebook and his Instagram. Um, yeah, it was a fun trip. Okay, let's see. Let me show you. So, this is what... Randy, I'm going to just send these to you right quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> email? Yeah, Email.com. Okay, I'm getting into my Google.com. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Just give me a moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I like about the Slap City group on Facebook is that so there's new people that have just started listening and they'll remind me of bits that I forgot about. <clears throat> I love it. Oh, yeah, dude. Someone DM me yesterday and said that they like just started there on episode 13 and I was like, Right on. We start the videos at episode 21. Enjoy, brother. <laughs> okay, so I want you to look at this picture. And Randy, I sent them to you so people will be able to see. This is what we walked oh. up to, which is gorgeous. Whatever. Right. It's Zion. It's gorgeous. Sun already up. No sunrise. No nothing. Just a nice little blue sky. Blue sky. And I'm a bit upset. This is what goes on. <gasps> moments later oh look when, at that when the gal asked me if i'm a comedian oh it was perfect timing i mean this sunrise and zion national park did the greatest bit ever by giving me that gift <laughs> they gave me the sunrise you know where it was on the just hanging around on the mountains and it's gorgeous it was just got okay it looks me. really gorgeous it was just gorgeous um <laughs> So, <sighs> Randy can save uh, thirty dollars off his first Uber Eats. Yeah, and they'll never give you the right fucking order. <laughs> I am so fucking done with Postmates, mm -mm. DoorDash, Grubhub. Haven't ordered anything Uber from them Eats. in a long time. I am fucking done. Randy saved. Uh, oh no, Reef and I just get mad every fucking it's like, time why? we get it. Why? Why do we do it? They're, it's never right. Never. And even if it is right, then you don't have the sauces. And why no. do you want to eat without a sauce or a ketchup? It, when I write in that I need sauce or I want this, I mean, we got like a Taco Bell order a few weeks ago. Half of it was not fucking there. Well, that's, And we yeah. paid like $60. That was like with tip and all that. And I was just like, I'm fucking done. Do you, I'm only doing delivery from restaurants to, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or pick up at places Not now. The, the, I'm done. The third party app? No. And number one, they're fucking losing all. Of, I don't even know how they're making all of this money. It doesn't make sense to me. I feel like it's all going to implode on itself because these motherfuckers have to refund me $25 every time. Every time, yeah. Because I'm like, they're like, was there a problem? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, there was a fucking problem. The whole order, one drink. <laughs> One burger? What? What is it? Did we tell you that we got a DoorDash order one time with a knife in it, like a like a pocket knife, like a like protection knife from the DoorDash driver or whatever? Like he must have had it in his hand or something like that, or it slipped from the car into our bag. Did you keep it? Yeah, you should have called him back. And hit. Hey, guy. Okay, so what maybe you if he got our order <laughs> fucking right, he would have gotten it back. So what happened uh, is is actually you're an accessory to a murder because that knife was used in a murder. Not a, nope. they're looking for the knife. Guess where it is? Tina D Ball's home. No, they're not. Okay. They can't charge anybody without the weapon or a body. Well, hang on to that bod. Dude, I had a piece of my hair fall off into the rental car and all I could, it was like one long gray hair and all I could think about was you. I was like, oh boy, <laughs> I might as well report myself now while I can. Sorry, that got was a, loud. I got a text Javier, hold on. Oh, no problem. There's, I had a text from Rafe 
about a movie that we started last night. Okay, so I was out um, at uh, our friend Josh and Emily McNew's house last night after uh, work and all that. Came home, took a showie, and then we went over to their place about 7.30, ate steaks, dinner, hung out with their new baby, and uh, their baby's fucking adorable. Uh, cute as hell. Literally looks exactly like Josh McNew. Josh McNew took off his glasses last night, and we were in the middle of laughing about a bit, and I, he goes... <laughs> I look at him, I go, Jesus Christ, Phoebe looks exactly like you. <laughs> I go, whoa. Like, that's... What a I'm cute like, you name. you look like a baby. Phoebe. He does have a baby face. Yeah. A nice skin. Oh, he does. And yeah. freckles? Yeah, he's got he's got freckles. Probably on his penis, too. Oh. Uh, Haven't seen him. Let me... Let's, let's just call him and ask him if he has freckles on his penis. You're for it. Ladies and gentlemen, calling... Ladies Josh and gentlemen, McDew. calling Josh McDoo. About to be live on Slop City Podcast. We'll show you guys a picture of him. So He's you not going to answer. You could judge yourself. I bet he will. If he does, I'll be so blessed. He's a dad, so I let it ring all the way. Yo. Josh McNew, you are live on Slop City Podcast right now. Hello from Tina and Libby. Hello. Oh, uh, are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got a question for you. Yeah. Well, we were just talking about you and uh, I was telling uh, Libby how last night I got to hang out with Phoebe and you and Emily, and that we were like mid laughing about a bit, and you took your glasses off, and I was like, "Holy fuck, dude! Phoebe looks exactly like you. Like, <laughs> yeah. you literally look like a baby." Um, <laughs> and then Libby was like, "Oh yeah, he's got he's got a baby face, and he's got really nice skin and freckles." She goes, "And freckles, huh?" I said, "Oh yeah, he's got freckles. Maybe he has freckles on his penis." And then. <laughs> I love how silent he got. He's like, oh, God. Yeah, he's like, oh, God. So, yeah, I was like, hey, let me call Josh and ask him if he has any freckles on his penis. Well, let me take a look. <laughs> <laughs> let me take a look. Yep, yeah, they're mostly just, uh, you know, high sun um, exposure areas. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty contained to the arms and the face. Okay, that makes sense. All right, cool. <laughs> well, we'll be uh, posting. Yeah, send us a picture of your liking because we'll be posting a photo of you in this episode and uh, asking people to sound off in the comments if they think you have uh, freckles on your penis. So, <laughs> I just have one. And it covered my whole penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I just farted. Oh. You do have you do have beautiful skin, Josh. Oh man, you guys are just so sweet. Thank you. No problem. Well, we love you, and that was really the only reason why we called. So thanks for uh, calling into Slop City Podcast. Hey. This has been, you know, a bucket list item for me. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, do you want to do you want to promote anything? Yeah. Do you have anything you want to plug? Uh, I uh, what, what do we got here? What do we got around me? He's uh, looking at his penis right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me look at my schedule. He's staring at his penis. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be a no uh, for me, dog. <laughs> I don't have anything for uh, I'm sad. Okay, honeys. Well, we love you. We'll talk to you later. Go Chiefs. Love you guys. Go Chiefs. Bye. Bye. He said he has one freckle. <laughs> it covers, and it whole covers thing. his entire penis. What a funny guy. He and really nice is. Guy. And creative guy. Very hilarious. Very funny. Um, Josh McNew is someone that I've worked with a lot, like on commercials and all that. Uh, he did the 90s sitcom. He directed that and co-wrote it with Rafe. And uh, he also did that O'Reilly's commercial that O'Reilly's. we were in. God, what a great commercial. He's just a funny guy. He got me a voiceover gig for the uh, Orthodontic Association or whatever it's called. Oh, uh, yeah. The one that I was, the Happy Mouth yes, Now. where you're like. Yeah. That was a featured in Ad Week. 
Whoa! Which I guess is a big deal. I didn't even know what Ad Week was. God, that little fart I let out stinks so bad. <laughs> and he go. was just a little baby. <laughs> Not like that one? No, it was it was pretty quiet. Like, I mean, if I had been quiet at the time and not laughing hysterically, you probably would have heard it. But it was a small guy. I went to tour yesterday to get a, a blouse and <laughs> farted in, in there. And it was very bad. <laughs> then as I'm exiting, the lady goes, are you done in there? Do you need me? To-? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm done and quickly exited because I know she smelt it. I even turned on the little fan they have in there. And Oh, yeah, they do have a fan in Torrid, which is awesome because I re- every time I go to try clothing on, I get really stressed out. And when I get nervous, mm-hmm. I get sweaty. Right. Um, it's good that they have So that. they do have that nice little fan. Did you end up uh, purchasing a blouse? I got a nice black blouse. And is that what you wore last night? Yeah. So you wore a nice black blouse last night, jeans, jeans and New Balance. Which jeans? Your your light ones? Uh, medium roast. <laughs> uh, it's a light roast coffee. <laughs> and you can see him on the video that I want Randy to play. It's a TikTok. <clears throat> it's a viral. Well, not it was viral maybe a year or two or three years ago where you reenact something. I'll talk about it after. What? I'll talk about it. After. So you you get in the position of a of an old picture uh-huh. with the same people, and you play the song. When you're spending every day on your own, and I'm, I'm just, just a kid, and my and life is a nightmare. Nobody cares. I know that it's not fair. So these are my friends from high school: Mary Bosenbecker and Todd. Uh-huh. Oh, it was easy doing the TikTok. What sure. wasn't easy was finding an elderly person that could film the TikTok. Why are they so bad at taking photos? Old people? Yes. Because we're Videos, old. Videos, everything. I mean, dude, someone took was taking a picture of us while we were in Zion, and Rafe goes, this is going to be the worst fucking picture. Because we can't see. So we're freeballing it. Took many pictures last night without my glasses, and I says to them, I says, check it. Make sure it's in focus, because I couldn't see. Hey, you better check that photo, because I I am aware that at times I can be a wonderful photo taker, (laughs) but then there are other times when my vision is a bit blurred. I can't see. Dude, I keep getting fucking Aquaphor on my contacts, because I've had all that psoriasis outbreak all, like, the last two weeks. It's been so fucking bad. And it is starting to get a little better. Look. Does it just blur over with the Aquaphor? Oh, dude, I've had my contacts in. And I think basically what happened is Aquaphor came off my eyelid and went onto my contact. And then I'm blinking and there's just a a blob. (laughs) Just a fucking blob. I took my contact out to clean it off after that. And uh, at least it's moisturized nicely. When you have that blob in the middle of your contact, it's the worst thing in the world. I took it out to clean it, and then I accidentally ripped it in half. Ah! So I had one contact in, and this eye, totally fucking blind, had to drive home 40 minutes with one eye. And then, like, just to, you know, do some fun and games when there were no cars around me, I covered my good eye, and I realized, I'm like, I will never survive any type of apocalypse you should bring your glasses with you at all times barbara in case you rip one just in case that there's some kind of emergency exit situation you can't be going around with one eye barbara i'm walking around looking around scared (laughs) because i cannot see i couldn't and i didn't have my glasses i couldn't couldn't even find them part of me was like i'd want lasik but then I'm also like, I don't know. It is kind of nice to like be able to wear glasses. And I don't want to be one of those fakies that just wears fake a glasses. Poser. A poser. Do you know how, when people. Just thinking about LASIK makes me physically ill. Yeah. But, well, but you're not blind. You're blind like from readers, you know. I'm from blind because. You're old. Or... I'm old. Well, I turned 40. She said it happens to everyone. You turn 40 and you just can't see close up. 
I don't understand how that's going to work for me, though. Like, because I am blind. So I'm going to have to take my glasses off to look at something? No, you're going to have to get progressives like me. Oh, that's what what I will need? There's the reading at the bottom, mid-level, and then far. And my new glasses, I don't... The only reason I have to wear them when I'm driving is because then I can look at my phone. And I can see the... uh, and you print can out, text. Print out better. The uh, map quest. Because I can see the map, but if I have to look at the littler numbers, then I have to get mid-level. So you're going, trying to figure it out. So, so that's here, why old people look at their phone like this, because their readers are down. Oh, yeah. That's how I act out an old person. That's why I like just wearing these words, reader, all over. So I just look straight. Yeah. That's whenever I make fun of an old person, I'm always like, yeah. That's what they're doing. Because this is it. They're looking at the bifocal part. Okay. So that's what I'm going to need one day. Probably. Are there any people who don't ever need readers? I don't know. That go that do so well? Because it's a concept I can't understand because I haven't gone through it. It's kind of like before I had shingles, I thought everybody, I was like, ew, that's gross. You're a disgusting person. And then I got shingles and I was like, no, I'm one of you. Well, I had 20, 20, same. I had 20, 20 vision all my life. And then the, the readers. So what explain the process to me? Is it like one day you looked at something like you were reading your phone? So like something like that, you couldn't read close up. And I'd have to like, I was like, wow, I got to move this further. And the further. So when it's right here, is it just really blurry? It's so blurry. Can't make it out at all. So then about here is that's when I can start to make it out. That is fucking insane. When did you have to get reading glasses, Randy? Do you remember? Uh, Probably my early 40s. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I, I have them with me everywhere I go. Did you have 2020 before that? I did have 2020 before that. I have a pair of reading glasses in my bag, one pair in my van, one pair <laughs> in my car, one pair right here, one pair in my bedroom, <laughs> That's why you can... and two brand new pairs in the back area just All in dollar case store? I lose them. Oh, yeah, 100%. Look at these fucking bad boys, dude. And what strength do you get? Uh, These are 150. Yeah, that's what I so get. So it's plus 150, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, so my vision is negative four. I don't know what that means, but that sounds bad. Try to put these puppies on. Ugh. I put my glasses on a little kid yesterday. Whoa! Yeah. I can't see close up or far. Oh, yeah. It's probably Jesus like really Christ. zoomed in. It's just blurry and strong. Like right now, I cannot read what is on your shirt. Can't read it. It's blurry? Yeah. I can make out like that there's different symbols, but I know it says Rosebud Baker because I saw your shirt, but I legitimately cannot read it. Everything blurs together. Even your coffee cup. Turn the, turn the polar pop. How many fingers do I got up? Two. How many? One. How many? Five. How many? Five. How many? Five. How many? Five. (laughs) Like the polar pop emblem, can't see it. All I see is blue with a tiny little bit of white. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. The donut right behind you, can't even see what is written on there. I just see a circle that's pink. It says all hail Pusina. Yeah. I know because I've seen it a lot. Isn't that fucking nuts? Are both of your eyes the same? Yeah. Yeah. And yep. have you always been like that? Uh, yeah, since I was a kid. Yeah, like the Slop City fruit cocktail thing cannot make out any of it. The middle part, I see the black dots, but up top, I mean, it's I black dots vaguely the apples. Yeah, black circles. I should have said not dots. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm blind as a bat, but now look at that. I can read it all. It's glasses are amazing. Glasses. Glasses, Barbara Lloyd. My glasses are amazing. My glasses are so dirty. My driving glasses, I can't even see out of them. Dude, anymore. I've been having the same fucking issue because you can't. I've had to wear them all week, and I lost my fucking glasses cloth. Yeah, I don't have one. Lost it. They're filthy. So now I'm just angrily taking my shirt and being like, blah, 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 <laughs> trying to clean it, and it doesn't clean it them doesn't. properly. No. What it does is smudge all that shit around. 
and then you're just looking through your glasses and it's like, have you ever looked at someone and seen how dirty their glasses yes. are and been like, bro. Do you eat mashed potatoes off those? Because <laughs> they're did, bad. Did you use that as a plate this <laughs> M- morning? Mine are awful. I can't see. And then I, I guess I could stop and get a microfiber cloth or whatever they are. Yeah. What are they? I think it is. A, so microfiber cloths do work because I have one at home and that's what I've been using the last few days. But it didn't come to me until about two weeks of being absolutely miserable where I was just constantly like spraying Windex on them, using coffee filters, using weird things to like try to clean them. Coffee filters won't scratch? No. Oh, wow. I'm going to try that. No, you use them on a mirror. And stainless steel. Oh, yeah. I remember doing that at the mirror yet. Well, my stainless steel fridge is about the dirtiest thing in my fucking home. (laughs) I'll clean it, and then I look at it the next week, and I'm like, dude, did I literally just have mayo all over my (laughs) fucking hand and going and (laughs) open it up what the fuck uh all right uh, listen i i haven't done this in a while but i do need to take a really quick shit okay so why don't i take a shit and then um let's make sure we didn't (laughs) miss anything from your high school reunion okay Okay. while you're gone i'll talk about um give me a topic um, Practicing for stand up on the spot. Yeah. Okay. Pop it. Um, let's go with leather couches. Leather couches. I've never owned a leather couch in my life. I the only couches I've ever had were second hand couches. Now with a leather couch, like is yours leather or pleather? It's that bullshit vinyl will start to peel off after a year and a half. Okay. Horseshit imitation leather couch. Was okay. I clear on that? How yeah. I feel about that yes. couch. Horseshit. That's why there's sheets on it. That's why I have bed sheets <laughs> on the fucking couch because those little black fabric pieces get every get, fucking get on you. Yeah. yeah, it's it's disgusting, dude. I'm so mad about that fucking couch. Well, maybe you could try like Tina and get a microfiber couch or whatever they're called. Yeah, I probably could, but yeah, never. Yeah. Never owned a couch. Uh, love a ca- love sitting on a couch watching TV. We have a couch at home that has two compartments. They're both Full like lazy boy. Lazy boy. Uh, you can put the thing out. There's right two on. cup holders. And in the middle is an armrest. So it's very nice. And I feel, I feel uh, even though I didn't buy it, I feel richer than I've ever felt in my life. I thought about buying a new couch, but I don't spend much time in there. I spend most of my time in here, the bathroom, and the bedroom. I've never in even sat order. on your couch. I know Kitty enjoyed it a lot. That would be one reason to keep it. Kitty really enjoyed sitting on the corner of that couch. He's down here somewhere today. I don't know where. Kitty! My, my daughter went to the pumpkin patch and left Kitty downstairs so he could visit his pops. Oh, his pawpaw. But I haven't seen him, man. He came and said hi, and I don't know where the hell he is now. What a dick. He's a total fucking dick. But he's cool as shit, and I love him. What the fuck has Tina been eating, man? Well, she's just flushed, so that's good. And she's going to come out of here so fast. The first flush? The courtesy flush, I hope? I I think that was the, the actual flush. But who knows? She's a very quick pooper. That's insane, dude. It takes me forever, mostly to clean up. To clean. It takes me a while to clean up, but also I like to sit there a while and sort of uh, look at my phone. And Dude, when, if I wished you happy birthday on Facebook, just know I was pooping. <laughs> I yeah. was he pooping. was shitting. My poops take longer now that I'm on all that fucking ADD medication because I'm always fucking constipated oh, now. So now you got to push them out. Ugh. I'm going to get a hemorrhoid and I know it. Well, and I am not looking forward to getting hemorrhoid because, from what I understand, you have to have those surgically removed. Well, they're not. Oh, const- you don't. Not all time. They're not <laughs> constant. You don't have them constantly. Oh, it just gets a flare up. Maybe I just need to start taking some kind of probiotic to keep the flora in my stomach at a nice level. Maybe take a stool softener. Ugh. Maybe include more fiber into your diet. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so give me the lowdown on uh, what else did we miss from the high school reunion? Really, it was just a lot of 
just people standing around chit chatting about um, catching up. Catching up. My friend Tavia reminded me that when we worked at Baskin Robbins, we had an old timey flasher come in, and I had forgotten <laughs> about this. We were working two 16 year olds working at Baskin Robbins <laughs> alone at night, and a man in a trench coat. <laughs> Came in and exposed himself to us and then just ran out. (laughs) Just the fact that like that used to be a term, a flasher. Flasher. Now, did he have clothing on under the trench coat? I don't think so. I don't remember when she told me. I was like, oh, God, I do remember that. Because I remember we were like, what the fuck? Was it a khaki trench coat? I think it was dark, but I don't remember. The, I mean, it's just very funny for me to imagine somebody walking in in a trench coat like that, wearing absolutely nothing <laughs> under it, having it go to their shins, and then them maybe wearing some dress shoes and socks, <laughs> and then exposing exposing himself, exposing themselves. Do you think it was a dare, or do you think he was just like it was? I believe it was an older gentleman, so I believe it was his <laughs> thing. He knew that two teenage teenage gals were working in the Baskin Robbins. Holy fuck! And it's it's weird what uh, what our memories will re- will retain because I talked about so much stuff last night she couldn't remember because in high school her name was Tavia, mine was Libby. They put our names together together and called us Labia. Because we were a best friend unit, so they that's called us really, labia. I, I like that. She I think didn't that's remember really nice. that. Oh, that's that's. But a she bit remembered upsetting. the flasher. Yeah. Um. I a lot of people said, "Yeah, we always thought you were funny when you when you got comfortable around people. You were funny." Several people told me that because I was. They said I was quiet and shy, but when I got comfortable, I was funny. They're like, "Oh yeah, we knew you were going to be a comedian." That's what they always say. Yeah. They always say, oh, it makes sense you're a comedian. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, is it all the years of endless trauma? <laughs> is it me getting flashed at Baskin Robbins at the age of 16? I'm just trying to work a job for two thirty four an hour. I think it was two thirty five an hour. Oh, I'm pretty sure my first job I had, I got paid $4.75 an hour. That was minimum wage. Yeah. Four seventy five at McDonald's. You had to work for one whole hour to get four dollars. Yeah, maybe it was five twenty five. I can't remember exactly, but it was bad. I remember a five twenty five wage. Yeah, five twenty five. I mean, that's that is fucking embarrassing. That's criminal. That is straight up criminal. Five twenty five an hour. What do you let's let's just add that up. What's a forty hour work week look like for that? I'm about to get mad. I will say that I did see the classroom. I know that I've told the story on here where I, I stole money from Baskin Robbins. Yes. My teacher then took me. I saw the room where I took the Spanish class where my teacher then took me back to Baskin Robbins in her personal vehicle so that I could give the money back and tell them what I did. How much was it again that you stole? It was like $10, which yeah. making that kind of money is was a good amount of money. Yeah. I just did the math. If you work full time at five twenty five, you're making two hundred ten dollars a week. After taxes, I'd say you're looking at one sixty. LOL, kill me. One sixty a week. Could, that doesn't even make any sense. We sound elderly. Elderly though. Like back in my day, I made five dollars an hour. I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings and made seven twenty five an hour, and gas was four dollars a gallon. I could barely survive. I was eating at my friends' parents' houses. I was, I was, collecting items and cans from every trash can I could find. How I did was, you afford your drugs? I was sucking dick for money. I mean, that's good money, though. Sucking dick for money is. I when know. you're making five dollars an hour, what do you get? Twenty a blowjob? Part of me wishes I could do it. I mean, I just wish I could, but I couldn't. I would start laughing. I know that. I couldn't even go on a date on Tinder when I like. And they would start laughing because you're going. <laughs> yeah, they they would look at me and I'd be like this. <laughs> They're like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> it's the ponytail for me." <laughs> But then I get up and I flash you a smile with these big chompers. And I'm like, <laughs> and y- I mean, you're coming everywhere. They're in love. Yeah. Yeah. Not only are you coming everywhere, you're finding a way to take me home and be like, look at this psycho bitch <laughs> I brought home. 
they're falling in love and you've explored their body and that's it. In the bench seat of a Buick. I have gotten people to fall in love with me. Sometimes I think about like people that have been in love with me and I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> How like, many people have been in love with you? Honestly. Um, let's see. Oh. Stop falling. Uh, we're gonna so I've got uh one one person. Okay, let me let me go through. Why don't I think of my numbers and you think of okay. your numbers? I'm going to go with probably uh, three, including me too. including uh, Rafe. Maybe four. I'd say three. Yeah. Well, there was someone that really lusted after me. And Ooh. there was, I was just like, oh, God, you just have really pathetic, pale feet that I can't ever look at again. So this is not going to be happening. One of the men is uh, is a gay man, so I don't know. He was still he was in love with me for many many years, mm-hmm. and that's okay. Um, one of them I think was not capable of being in love because he is probably a sociopath. Oh, but or just a narcissist. Probably a narcissist fits better. Um, but there was the illusion of it. The closest he could get. To the it. closest he could get. Like how Jeffrey Dahmer kind of tried to do that. But it's like. Ugh, he, he just, just wanted to touch a mannequin's body. He just body. couldn't stop. Killing people. Killing people. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh. Just couldn't stop having sex with dead bodies. Just loved a mannequin. Just wanted to touch a body. That's it. You gave that guy. Jeffrey Dahmer's alive today. He ain't killing people, man. You know why? Because he's ordering a real doll. Real <laughs> doll that he can explore all the body parts. I bet he could get himself one that had blood and guts and everything in it that he could do whatever he wanted. And that's a safe way to go about it. You know, if that's something you want to do. If you're talking with a licensed professional. <laughs> as long as you're talking to a licensed professional and letting them know. I think that's fine. I think I think if you have fucked up urges and you're not acting on any of them and you're talking to a licensed professional, that's okay, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I don't know just, what's right. Maybe you just got to do one of these. <laughs> put a put a poisonous <laughs> poison dart. dart. Yeah, put a poisonous dart through their fucking head. Yeah, they uh they used to use those a lot. I saw that I saw poisonous darts on Tarzan a lot when I was a kid. I would love to spit a poisonous dart into somebody. What if you go, <gasps> though, and it goes into your own throat? Well, then I will be- l- never stop laughing. Because that's something that you would do. You'd be like, hey, guys, I'm going to do a, a dart. And then you go. <gasps> and then I'd go like this. Because <clears throat> <laughs> you would definitely announce it beforehand. And the announcing would have got you excited about yes. it. Which then would have turned into you sucking a it very in. deep breath to hype myself up. <laughs> a very deep breath, and then you going whoa! It's like when I go to the doctor and they're like, "Now give us a deep breath," and I'm like, <laughs> 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 "It's like you didn't have to do any of that front part. Just do just the deep go. breath. You just go." All right, now just normal breathing. When they say normal breathing, I can't. I still want to take a deep breath. When they say normal breathing, I'm sweating profusely (laughs) and I can't stop. That's just me being like pushing all over. I'm like, cool, don't touch my armpit. (laughs) I'm like, you ever smelled cat litter on a person? (laughs) Because that's what these fucking armpits smell like. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, Oh, I saw a nice picture of your cat there. Have you ever smelled ammonia and cat urine on a person? That's me. Then I don't own one of those things. <laughs> I mean, I, I I take decent care of my body, you know? Like, not it's not the best. I'll do really good on a skincare regimen, and then I fuck up. And then I do really good on this, and then I fuck up. And it's kind of like a, a ongoing cycle. And I blame some of it for not having a nice bathroom area. And mm-hmm. I believe that once I have a nice home with an area where I can put all my lotions on, all my creams on and all that and have a mm-hmm. not lot of room, that I'll be doing a better job. Right. But the amount of sweat that pours out of my armpits, I could shower that morning 
put deodorant on. <laughs> And I still come home smelling like a fucking pissed on bed. By well, you're working hard. Orange tabby. And I'm <laughs> sick of it. I think I just need to get Botox. I'm going to get Botox for in your my armpits? birthday. Well, I'm going to get it in my forehead for my birthday. Really? Uh huh. I'm scared. For my 30th. Why? Because I got a fucking wrinkle here popping up and I don't want it. So I want to prevent it. it. It's this thing. Nothing. You do what you want. It's your body, though. For sure. If it makes you feel good, do it. Yeah. I just want to keep that at bay. So I'm doing that, and I'm honestly thinking about getting Botox in my armpits to see if it will help me with sweating. Because With I think, hyperhidrosis. I think I have a disorder. I mean, if it's that bad, you might ha- suffer from hypohidrosis. Now, uh, ooh, Uh-oh. that's okay. Hypohydrosis. And that, does that just mean you're a sweaty bitch? Look it up. I just remember a commercial, maybe it was Ideal Image or one of those places like, do you suffer from hyperhidrosis? Oh, hype. Oh, has cooling. Hypohydrosis. Typically, when you get hot, your sweat glands make perspiration that evaporates for your skin and takes heat with it. Okay, what's the difference between hyper, which, a, oh, hypohydrosis is not what I have. What about hyper? Hyper. That's what I have. Hyperhidrosis. I mean, you've smelled me before, like if I'm really sweaty, right? I don't ever smell you. You don't? That's good to hear. Because when I hugged Rafe when we were, hadn't seen each other for a month and a half at the factory when we were getting ready that day, he about fell out when he smelled (laughs) my armpits when I reached that round. He goes, wow, I haven't seen you in a month and a half and you just smell like a ripe onion. I was like, yep. Well, we'd be out there working. I think you do have hyperhidrosis and look at it. You may sweat so much it soaks through your clothes or drips off your hands. I don't have that. Some people have it on their hands. Some people have it on their armpits. But it says heavy heavy sweating can disrupt your day and cause social anxiety and embarrassment. And that's what I'm picking up right now. Oh, yeah. I mean. So do you have a lot of sweating or just a lot of odor? A lot of odor. Both. A lot of odor from the armpit area. And I mean, I've tried it all. That's bacteria. I've tried. I've tried 0% aluminum. I've tried native. I've tried showering twice a day. I've, I mean. What about dial soap? Try dial soap on the armpits. What about that other, that, that, what's that deodorant called? Lumel? That's supposed to like take it, any smell away? I feel like it did help with my feet. <laughs> God, I'm gross. God, I love money. God, I love money. Have you tried it on your armpits? I don't, I think so, and it didn't really work. I don't know. I'm going to, I guess I'll just talk to the doctor. I'll go in for my Botox uh, appointment and be like, now, give these a whiff and let me know what you think. (laughs) (laughs) And he passes away. Oh, man. I mean, I'm sure they've smelled, I've smelled body odor on people before that is like jarring. You know, like there's some types of body odor that you'll smell sometimes and you're like, Oh, it's like Bo when he's sniffing, like, <laughs> it, it's like you it, can't un, unsmell it, you know? And I don't think mine's that bad, but. Is it a disease? Can you click on it and see if it's a disease? Is hyperhidrosis a disease? I mean, that is straight salt. Just... Well, I mean, our bodies are our bodies, you know? It smells so salty, it almost smells like a dirty pussy. It almost smells like the ocean. It almost smells like uh, when you make pasta and put way too much salt in it. (laughs) And you're like, oh, I'm putting salt in it because one Italian cook show I saw on PBS said to put salt in there. And I put the salt in and I am not sure what's going on. But I still overcook these noodles by at least 49 (laughs) minutes. Right, me too. Oh, I mean... the. To get a perfect noodle, I, I know nothing. I know nothing about getting a perfect noodle. That's why I just stay away from them. Love noodles, but not good at cooking them. It, that I have resigned myself to 90-second packets of rice, stuff like oh, that. Oh, That's no, what I do. Rice, I can cook some rice. Do you use a rice maker or you do I it on the to, stovetop? But I thought it got broken because one of the plugs was out. Two of them, actually, because I switched it. And then I was like, man, my rice. Now I use a pan with a top. Ooh. Well, that's nice. That's nice to know. 
there's a lot of things I need to learn. And there's a lot of things I keep telling myself that I'll get better at when I have like a larger house. A larger area. Yes. Yeah. That's why I'm cooking because I have an area now to cook. Sure. Like what I've been doing this week to put lotion onto my body is after I get out of the shower, I dry off, do whatever, put my deodorant on. It's pointless. And then <laughs> I literally have just been laying on my bed and dousing myself in lotion. Well, that's good. I'm like, that's better than standing up and getting dog hair all over my feet. I just lay on the bed and kind of just rub my area. Go, I Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of that. So, um, well, great. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. I think so, too. I mean, we covered a lot of ground today. A lot of yeah. red. red a, lo- a lot of red in the video today. Yeah. This is a very red episode, which is good because I'm hoping that the chiefs beat the bills today so if they don't i will be uh very upset for the remainder of the day even though i sold my tickets today for like 260 each whoa maybe a little more but who'd you sell them to do you can you say no they don't give me the info of the person and i'd like to oh you put them on the little yeah i put them on, on the on the site i thought maybe it was a friend no it was not a friend i would i would definitely let them know let everyone know well, this has been uh, the Red Room, Red Table episode. <laughs> okay. um, it's really been feeling a blessed, blessed, just, blessed episode today. Just a really blessed episode. So, listen, everybody, thank you so much for um, listening. And, uh, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say for today. Thanks and for letting me take a shit break and uh, just... Well, hope you learned some new things about couches during that time. Yeah. And uh, be blessed, be blessed, folks. Jesus Christ, where's our things that Big Tit Tracy gave us? Big Tit Tracy. Mine's in storage. Saw it the other day. Uh, mine's in my house. Used it the other day. Love yous, love yous, and cut. <laughs> Oh, Jesus man. Christ. I don't know if it'll ever not make me laugh. Parts are fine. Brunch! <laughs>